My name is Christy Collier and I am the mother of Mia Anderson. I'm a student uh, ninth grader at Lionsgate Academy. Um, I'm Mia, I'm 14 years old and I've been here for three years. When you come into that school and you see those kids and you see how um, socially awake they are, um, they're no longer afraid to be themselves. When I got there, I made a bunch of friends that first day. It actually made me feel a lot better about myself, thinking, I guess I can do this, I don't have to be shy, I can talk. Um, she is able to have that peer relationship. Um, she's able to process when those relationships go wrong, um, and I've seen some maturity um, in her as well. Just overall, um, her ability to learn seemed to change. Um, Lionsgate was able to connect those dots. So now our kids are able to um, really be who they are meant to be and find their own footing and their own grounding. And then for the parents, it gives them that peace of mind of, my child's gonna get what they need. I'm Sasha Ghost, or, or their, my real name is Walter Ghost. You see, when I was a little kid, I knew I talked uh, like different, like everyone, like mostly about movies and like uh, lines from that. But I knew I did that. I just didn't really understand why or like what was precisely wrong with me or why I didn't talk much. I didn't for some, but for some reason, as I got through life and came to Lionsgate, somehow I really knew what I really had inside me. And, and one of the reasons why we were interested in Lionsgate was a, a brand new school, didn't exist, and I, one of the reasons why we decided to take a chance was it seemed that there was really um, an environment where people understood that there were a diversity of of needs and that they were really committed to devoting sort of the staffs and resources to get it done. What's wonderful about this school is they know how to reach him. They know the teaching style that works for him and that's effective and so they're able to bring out the best in him and I am so optimistic about his future in large part because of this program. It's very clear that there are a lot of people there that really care. And their insight into him and their genuine concern and affection for him is incredible. Well, this has been a school of being really honest with parents of what we can do and what we can't do. And I really feel good about the relationships that we've developed with parents. They were really looking for hope and they were looking for a school where people are going to pay attention to the individual needs of, the, of their child. And I think we've done that. I just think we're getting better at it. When they hired me, we went from 60 students to 95 students, and we went from 30 staff to 60 staff. This year, we expanded to 135 students, and now we have 100 staff. They're hardworking, they're talented, they're curious, they want to get better. Their team, they work together. We just, I feel really blessed. Teachers, they're very helpful and nice. Like, they'll, they're, they always help you with your work and stuff. Like, if you say you get stuck on something. Never have I ever seen where the improvements are so profound and like stick out and pop and pop up in your face and you can see them and that's what we all went to school for to be educators is we didn't go for money or for a paycheck we went to see kids improve and try to help people and uh, the things that I've learned here as an educator in the last six months far surpass anything I've learned in the last eight years it's it's been a phenomenal place to work and the support is great the people are great and the kids are great and of course the parents are great too. Really trying to balance the success of our students while they're here with what's gonna to happen to them when they leave and trying to help them develop independence and their own resilience and their own social skills so when they leave Lionsgate, they can reach their potential and they can do, the doors will be open for them. And that's a real balancing act because parents want them to be successful today, but then they also want them to be successful when they leave. So we're trying to do both. I want to be a doctor but for vets, um, or I want to work with gorillas that like animals. Uh, being like a movie director and stuff. For some of our students, their mental health needs are going to take precedence over their academic needs. And if we don't deal with them, then all we're doing is what a lot of schools do is just advance students on without really dealing with their issues. They have a regular station, which used to be called the Lions Lounge. 
they do like therapy in there. Some kids get worked up when they'll a bunch of noises and stuff like that. They can just escape from that and they can have a little time to themselves. Because sometimes they scr struggle with writing skills, actually handwriting. Computers and keyboarding is a very important part of their education. And we're again fortunate that we have the equipment and we also have the expertise. We have a great tech department who really works with our students. And then our drama department is fantastic. Um, drama works on lots of ways for our kids to learn how to appropriately respond to situations in real life. So we have three goals every day. Today, Michael, what is number one? And if you get tapped out, you get tapped out. It's no big deal. It's just a game. A lot of our students are very creative and aren't really engaged in like so their skills. Go and we one, have a like lot of here. talented artists. And my guess is so a number might, of our students could go on and have careers in art. And, uh, so this is here. a very important part of this. Whether it's uh, um, twisting the project into something else that, you know, they're really into maps. So then we really try to incorporate the maps. In, into the project and it's maybe less about the the characters that are in the story and more about um, about what it is that they feel successful doing. Today we are celebrating our unveiling of our large mosaic that we've been working on for the past two months. So um, all the art students are here to celebrate um, a great day. A member of the church put in a fitness center so we're able to access the fitness center. We have a gym. Um, where we have FIAD classes. We also have yoga classes. It turns out one of our PE teachers is also a certified yoga instructor. The A is the asana. Lionsgate is always thinking ahead. Okay, here's what we have, here's what we've been presented with. What do we need to do next to kind of up it a little bit to meet the needs of who our student body is and they're always progressing and growing in that way and um, I think that they need to continue because it's a huge benefit um, to the children and to the parents. It helped me see things in Sasha and appreciate things in him that I don't know I necessarily appreciated or valued and that has meant the world to me because at some point you have to get as a parent to accepting them for who they are and loving them and not wanting to change them and this school has helped me do that.